Hi everyone, Renee here. If you're looking for a way to build muscle in your upper body, to tone your arms, strengthen your back, shoulders, chest, everything, then you've come to the right place. In as little as 30 minutes, 40, if you choose to stick around for the bonus, we are going to strengthen our entire upper body. It's a fun one, it's circuit style, which makes the workout go by so fast. So in today's workout, we have three circuits. Each circuit has four moves and each move is one minute long. It's so simple. We're gonna complete each circuit two times through, have a minute break, then do the next circuit, minute break, next circuit, minute break, and then our final burnout is 12 minutes long of all of the moves together. So it's a nice burnout at the end. If you choose to only do the 30 minutes, you will still feel it and your upper body will still get stronger. If you stick around for the extra 10 minutes, if you have time, that's amazing. And just know that you're giving yourself a little bonus perk at the end. Okay, so let's get warmed up and then I'm gonna show you the first four moves. So let's just start with warming up our shoulders. So I like to take my arms out to a T and then my fingers up towards the ceiling and my palms are flat and we're just doing little circles with our shoulders. This helps to warm up everything and find our mind to body connection with the muscles that we want to work today. Now reverse your circle. Yep, just go back, keep your abs engaged here, and start breathing. Start to bring your breath into this workout. Yes, because oxygen is needed as we work out. You need to bring oxygen to your muscles. Okay, now point your fingers down and just make these circles a little bit bigger. Yes, nice, just like that. You should feel everything in your upper body start to warm up. I feel my shoulder blades coming together in my back, and now let's reverse. Just like that, nice big circles now. Squeezing shoulder blades and chest as you circle around. Great job. Okay, now bring your hands in front, elbows wide, and let's just do some twists. Open up our spine. Beautiful. We do have a little bit of ab work in there, so each circuit will have one little ab move. So just stick with me. It's going to be great. So we'll get our core in there, but we're going to be working our core the entire time because anytime we're working, we need to make sure that we're engaging it to keep our you know, posture correct. Okay, so let's just open and close our arms. Yes, nice. Okay, so we wanna step it side to side. Okay, so now just kind of roll your shoulders, move a little bit as I talk. If you need a little longer warm up, I've got those on my channel, so head on over and do one of those. But you just kinda of wanna move around, get all your the blood flowing, your muscles working and ready to go. I'm gonna show you the four moves. So the first move is push-ups. You have a few options. First option is have your hands up. So I have an ottoman here to have your hands just a little bit higher. This just helps the resistance not be so intense on your chest and you're just gonna go down and up. If you'd like to, you can also take this to the floor. Hands are slightly wider than your chest, feet are hip width, and then you just go down and up. So elbows are at a 45 degree angle here. You can bring this down to your knees, but I actually suggest if you can, take it up on something to take it down a level but totally up to you. That's our first move, push-ups. Then we're going into something called skull crushers. So this works your triceps. You're gonna have one weight between your hands, straight up toward the ceiling. You're laying on the floor and then your weight comes towards your forehead and back up. It's actually gonna pass your forehead because you want your elbows at that nice, you know, 90 degree right above your chest. And this will work your triceps. I have 15 pounds. I do have 25s here. I don't think I'm gonna do that for skull crushers. Then we're coming right up to wide biceps. Again, okay, you'll grab a set of weights, whatever you choose. Remember, each move is one minute, so you can always drop set, which we've talked about that. Heavier weights, and then you drop it down to a lighter weight real fast, not even thinking about it. So don't be afraid of trying those heavier weights. Even if you can't stick with it the whole minute, you could switch halfway through. It's a great way to test out your strength with a little heavier weight. And then the final move, we will be in plank and it's rotate open, and then come back to plank, and then rotate open the other way, back to plank. And we'll do that for a minute. You wanna keep everything engaged. And that's our first circuit. Okay, grab a sip of water. Find where you wanna do your push-ups, and we're gonna start. We're gonna have one minute of each move. So this circuit will be eight minutes long. Stick with me, you've got it. I'm gonna try the push-ups on the floor. We have 10 seconds, find your place, but I am near my ottoman if I wanna go up. Three, two, one, go. Lower and lift. Yes, just like that. You are here for a minute, you're in it. 
Squeeze your core. Make sure that you're moving in one nice straight line. You'll feel this in your chest right away. Yes, nice. Smile here. Elbows are going back at a 45 degree angle. You don't want them going directly out to the side. Lower and lift. You are at the 30 second mark for this move. You've got this. Retuck your hips under, pull your navel up. I told you this is an entire ab workout this whole time. And you wanna make sure that you're pulling your navel on. You have 15 seconds right here. Beautiful. You can always try it at that next level up, remember. Don't be afraid to push yourself. You can always back down if needed. Okay, make your way up to standing. You are, oh, no, you get to stay on your back. Just grab your weight. Okay, arms directly up to the ceiling. Bend and extend, yeah. So now we're right into triceps here. Beautiful, I have my feet flat on the floor. I am pressing my lower back into the floor with my lower abs. So think of bringing your navel in towards your spine. Extend straight up to the ceiling and then the weight passes your forehead. Back up, squeeze the backs of your arms right here. Nice job. Breathe through this. Focusing just on our upper body today. You have 15 seconds right here. Control this on the way down and control it on the way up. Make sure that this is all muscle, no momentum. Great job, you're doing fabulous. One more. Okay, now hop it up for wide bicep curls. I'm trying the 15s, but I have my 10s right here if I need them. Elbows in by your side, and you're curling out to the side. Think W position. It just works your bicep from a different angle than straight forward, and we're always up for that, working our muscles from all directions. Nice. Smile. Again, keep your core engaged. Palms are facing your shoulders. We're already at that 30 second mark, so if you're gonna drop set, go for it. Yes, nice job. Keep going, we are coming down into that plank position. Rotating open right and left. 10 more seconds, I'm gonna try to stick with this. These are tough, I'm gonna build a muscle, speeding up my metabolism, one more. Okay, down to plank. Here we go, open, back to plank, open, back to plank. This actually feels amazing. But now remember, right after this, we're going directly into push-ups. So choose whatever level you would like. So this will be our second and final time through right now of the circuit. Remember, if you stick around for the bonus, you'll be doing all these moves one more time. But for now, this will be your final time for it. So just push yourself a little bit more. Make sure that you're opening up your chest and squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. And press your hips up to work your obliques. Feels so nice. I feel so graceful. Beautiful. Take it one more each way. Last one. Okay, make your way back. To to your plank, here we go. Or wherever you're choosing to do your push-ups. So if you're taking it up on a higher surface, you can go there. Yes. Pull your navel and recommit to this plank position. Find your breath. Oxygen is working. Turn off your chest. You are amazing. My upper body is already on fire. We're just almost five minutes in. And I feel this, my chest here in these push-ups, screaming at me, but it's a good thing. You have 10 seconds, so choose what you can do. Maybe you came down to your knees, so maybe you want to try it on your toes. Last one. Great job, okay, all the way up. Oh, nope, you get to lay down. I don't know why I keep wanting to come to standing. Okay, here we go. Triceps. 
Beautiful. Yes. Squeezing in on your weight. Bring your weight just past your forehead. Control this nice, slow, controlled here. Press your lower abs, your navel into your spine and spine into the floor. Nice alignment. Feet are flat. Breathe. You have 20 seconds right here. Try to burn out your triceps. Beautiful. Backs of your arms. You have just under 10 seconds. And we're gonna make our way up to our biceps. Last one, all the way up. Come to standing, grab your weights. Here we go. I'm still trying for 15s, but like I said, I've got 10s here. I've never heard anybody to try. So make sure you're doing that. Keep going. Shoulders away from your ears. Ooh. Just over 30 seconds right here. Beautiful, you are fabulous. Yes, keep elbows in by your side. 25 seconds. Slow on the way up and slow on the way down. Don't let your weights just pull you down. You control them, not the other way around. You're in control of your life. You're in control of everything your body does. Less than 10 seconds, and we come down to the floor for plank rotations. That's it. Okay, down to the floor. Here we go. Open, hand back down. Open, hand back down. So as you open, maybe you try to wrangle your hips up just a little bit more. Beautiful, nice. You are getting stronger with every single move here. Bring your shoulder blades together, open nice and graceful, find length in your entire body, in your obliques, in your arms, legs. So as you open up, that's where you're finding length. You have less than 20 seconds, then you get a minute break. 10 seconds here. One more. Beautiful. Okay. You have one minute. Take a break. Get some water. I'm going to show you the next four moves. Okay. Arm will press. So you'll have one weight in each hand. Your palms will face you. You'll be at 90 degree angle. And then you will open, press up, back to goal post, close. Open, press so your upper arms are staying parallel with the floor. And then lateral raises. You might need to go lighter on lateral or raises. You'll have to see. And then overhead triceps. Okay, so I'll have one weight between my hands, or you can have one, two weights and just make sure that they're touching. And then you want your elbows in by your ears, nice and tight, not flaring out. Everything squeezes in. And then we come down to the floor for toe touch crunch. I'll take one weight here. Feet will be up toward the ceiling, arms reach up, and just crunch up. So think of folding yourself in half right there. Okay, grab your weight. Let's get started. I'm trying 15s. Here we go. Press back down. Woo, 15s are tough, but I'm giving it a whirl because there's no harm in trying. You'll never know until you try. Yes. So you're gonna feel your chest, shoulders, and your back because of the Arnold press. Not just a press. You have about 30 seconds. I might have to drop set. I am slowing down here, trying to keep my form. 20 seconds. Yes, we're smiling. My chest is on fire, probably from all those push ups. 10 seconds. Last one, all the way up, all the way down. Okay, set them down. If you up, lateral raises. So I have tens, but lateral raises are always tough for me, so I might have to drop down. 
You can also bring a stronger bend, a deeper bend to your arms, and that will lessen the resistance on your shoulders. <sighs> the less extension you have in your arms, the less resistance you're gonna put on your shoulders. So that's always an option if you don't wanna drop down weight. <sighs> like I said, you always have options. So make sure that you're taking them and doing what's best for your body in this moment. <sighs> and that could be different than what's, what you did the other day. Totally. <sighs> and it could be different from what your body could do tomorrow. So it's just in this moment, right now, you're working to your fullest potential. <sighs> Few more. <sighs> Last one. Bring them all the way down. Grab whatever weight you want. I have 15, so overhead. Here we go. Yep, elbows in nice and tight. Beautiful. Make sure your core is engaged. Nice. And you want to keep your elbows there. You're hinging from your elbows. So upper arms are squeezing in towards your ears. You should feel this just working triceps a little bit differently than the last circuit when we were laying on our back. Yeah, so you're reaching nice and far behind you, and you come back up, and you squeeze at the top. Whew, nice and strong. I feel this, backs of my arms are going to be so strong, and then we're making our way down to the floor, I'm gonna keep the same weight I have right now. Last one, great job. Okay, down to the floor, feet up to the ceiling, arms up, and you just crunch, lower, crunch, lower. You can always plant your feet on the floor if up to the ceiling is too much, okay? And you're just holding your leg there. You can always bring them to tabletop as well. So many options. Make sure this movement's coming from your abs. So you wanna press your lower abs into, the, into your spine. And then you feel upper abs working as well. Your entire abdominal region is working here. Can always lose the weight. Less than 20. And we're gonna make it our way back up for Arnold's breath. Few more. Last one. Okay, back up. So I have my different sets of weights here. Arms in front. Here we go. I'm trying 15 once again. But I can already tell. Then my form is going to go if I stick with these for too long, so we'll see. My shoulders, chest, everything is shaking right now. Abs in. I'm going to get one more in here, and then I'm switching. Okay, so this one I dropped up looks like real quick, back in it. Okay? See? Just like that. So I made it to the 30-second mark. But I knew if I kept going, my shoulders, everything was just going to get. Nice. You have 15 seconds. These are still feeling really heavy. And we have lateral raises next. Keep going. One more. All the way up. All the way down. Okay, lateral raises. Here we go. Out and in. I'm breathing. Hope you are too. But wow, this circuit, my shoulders are just burning on fire. Make sure you keep your navel and your core engaged so that you're not rocking. Keep the alignment of your spine. Yes, just over 30 seconds. As they always say, the more muscle you have on your body, the faster metabolism is. So make sure that you're building muscle. You wanna do cardio, and strength training for a well-rounded body. Beautiful. Keep going. 15 seconds. Slow on the way up and the way down. Muscle is controlling you, not these weights. Breathing in and out. Last one. Okay, triceps. I'm going to try these two weights together. So I'm going to put them together, arms up, and you go down and up. 
So both these together are 20. So I went up five pounds from my last set. I had 15, 115. And I might drop set down, but I wanted to try it. I wanted to just push myself and see if I could. And I can, I'm doing it. See, you never know. After this, we just have one more minute in this circuit. You're at the 20 second mark. My triceps on fire. But I'm gonna try to stick with this. Try to stick with 20 pounds. 10 more seconds. One more all the way down and all the way up. Great job. Okay, grab your weight. Know your options. Go. Crunch, lower, reach, and down. You know your options here, what you can do with your legs. But make sure that you put your mind to your core, not to any other part of your body. So you have to tuck your hips, pull your navel in every time. 30 seconds, and then you get a minute break. So push yourself to the end. And there's just one more circuit, and then we'll have our bonus round. Fifteen seconds. So happy to have you here with me. You're gonna push through. Breathe. Breathe as you crunch up, exhale as you release. Last one. Great job. You did it. Amazing. Whew. Okay, for the next circuit, I do have a pillow because we're gonna be coming down onto our backs and I like to be a little elevated. So that's where I'm gonna be there. So if you wanna grab one, you can. Okay, so first move will be bent over flies. You'll hinge forward. Abs will be in nice flat back and your arms open and close in front of you. And then we'll make our way down to the floor for a chest press. And then we'll have close grip chest press, which means your elbows will be in by your side. Same thing. We'll go from one to the other. Your chest is going to feel this. So make sure you, that you have a few different weights nearby. And then the final one of the circuit will be four plank here. Legs behind you, and then you're just gonna bring your knees in. So a little plank of your hips, you'll feel a crunch. It'll feel different than a straight arm plank. Okay, so come up to standing, and we're gonna do bent over flies. I'm gonna grab my tens actually for this. Here we go. Open and close. I feel like I can control this more with tens. If I grabbed my 15s, I just feel like my shoulders would take on some of the work uncomfortably by my ears, and I don't want that. <sighs> Navel's in tight, make sure that you're pulling everything in. <sighs> if you're not sticking around for the bonus round, this is it for you. Eight minutes here in this circuit. <sighs> Slight bend of your elbows, feel your shoulder blades come together and connect before your arms even move because that's what's doing the movement there. Yes. Upper back feels good. Love working my upper back. It's great for your posture. A few more. One more. Okay, make your way down. Chest press. I have 25s and 15s, I'm not sure. Okay, press and lower. Yes, I'm trying it. They're heavy, but we're here for it. Make sure your lower spine is pressed down. Abs engaged. Nice job. You have 30 seconds right here. Push yourself until the end, and then we're switching to close grip chest press. You have 10 seconds. Yes. Okay, one more. Great job. Okay, I'm quickly switching to 15s. Bring the weights together above you and then elbows bend and extend. 
yep, close by your side when you press them up. Just working your chest from a different angle here. Nice job. Keep going. And then after this, we come into our forearm plank. We are burning out, strengthening our upper bodies here. 30 seconds right here. And then just one more move in the first round of this circuit. Keep going. Chest is just on fire, huh? Mine is, I hope yours is. 10 more seconds. Last one. Great job. Okay, make your way over onto your forearms. Legs are behind you, hip width, and then pull knees into chest, alternate. Yes. So your hips lift just ever so slightly into a little height, and you pull your knees in. Yes, your shoulders are going to feel this as well because they're stabilizing you in your upper body. Just over 30 seconds. Pull your navel in, crunch. Think of scooping your ass. Twenty seconds right here. And then we're coming up in the flies. You've got to breathe. Yes, this one's really tough because I'm feeling it in my upper body. I don't know about you. One more each leg. Great job. Okay, up to standing. Bent over flies. I'll turn sideways. Here we go. Open and close. Yes. Nice. Use your back. This is it. Four minutes here. We can get a minute break. If you're staying for the burnout, let's do this. Okay? So you just have four minutes of this circuit. You're doing amazing. Smile, chin off your chest. 20 more seconds right here. I love working my upper back. Just feels so good. So nice. Pull your navel in even tighter. One more, all the way up. Slow on the way down. Make our way down. I am going to try these 25 one more time. Here we go. Press and lower. Press and lower. Yes, they're not easy, but that doesn't mean I don't want to try. Yes, I'm always willing to just push a little bit more. Build that muscle, rev up my metabolism. That's why you're here getting stronger, healthier. As we age, we lose muscle. So let's build it so that doesn't happen. We can, we can counteract aging. We can fight the aging process. And that's what you're doing here. By hitting play on these videos each and every day. Being here with me, you are reverse aging. Last one. Okay, set those down if you'd like. Grab your other weights, close grip. Here we go. Bend and extend. Yes, you only have one more move in this circuit, then you get a minute break, and then just 12 minutes left. Each move one time through. I feel my triceps as well as my chest in this angle. That's okay, it's all working. Entire upper body working together. Maybe you close your eyes. You're on your back so you can and just focus on that muscle burn in your upper body. You have 10 seconds. And we're making our way to our forearms. Last one. Nice. Good job. Okay, forearm plank. Here we go. Pull knees into chest, back. 
in and back. Okay, so I have my arms in an 11 position. I'm pressing my forearms into the floor. My chin is off my chest. And then I'm just scooping my navel up and away as my hips pike. <sighs> Ever so slightly. They're only piking so that I can pull my knee. <sighs> I'm gonna feel this in your upper body. Yes. <sighs> nice. You have 25 seconds right here, and then you get a break. Come on, we're in this. Let's go. You can always come up to your hand if this gets a little too tricky. Remember, try to modify your rest, not quit. Beautiful. One more each way. That's it. One minute. Wow. That was tough. But amazing. Okay. So kind of get yourself set up. Know what's to come. We are doing push-ups all the way back to the beginning. If you're done, amazing. Make sure that you stretch. You just did 30 minutes upper body strength training. We're gonna stick around and do 12 more minutes. So if you're in it, you have 30 more seconds of rest and then we're going. So first circuit, we're starting with push-ups and then right into skull crushes where we're lying on our back, okay? If you want, you might need to take the modification to have your hands up on a higher object. I'm gonna try that on the floor again. I really just wanna push myself today with you. I wanna show you that we push ourselves and we try. Okay, we have 10 seconds. So let's make our way down to the floor. Find your position. Three, two, one, go. Elbows bend and extend. Lower and lift. Nice, lead with your chest. And remember, this is it. So every time you do these moves, you don't have to do them anymore. So just know that. So you can push yourselves to the extreme. Push it to your tipping point and then jump over it. Nice, 30 seconds. Yes. Chest, everything. And then we make our way to the back side of our bodies for skull crushing. You're amazing, you're doing fabulous. We have 15 seconds. Maybe you pause at the top like I am, and then you go down. One more, you've got it. All the way down, all the way. Okay, grab your weight. Skull crushers right here. Make your way to the back side of your body. Here we go. Bend and extend. Wow, my triceps are on fire. Feel the difference this round around, this time around, and all these moves, how different it feels from the first time. You're more fatigued. So you're gonna feel this, you're gonna have to put double the focus, double the effort to stay here with me as we put the icing on the cake. As we finish off these muscles, strengthen them, and push ourselves. Do this, we're coming up into wide bicep curls. Yes, yeah, so you only have 10 seconds here, so I'm just take it nice and slow on the way down, nice and slow on the way up, squeezing your elbows in toward each other for these last few reps. That's it. Okay, make your way up. I'm gonna still try for 15s, but I have my 10s right here. Biceps are fresh right now, as fresh as they're gonna be 30 minutes into a weight workout. <sighs> nice, breathe. <sighs> you have this, you have got this. Everything in you it takes right here to stay with me. That is you being amazing, being strong. <sighs> You're making this choice. We have 20 seconds of this move, and then no more. Nice, keep your hips heavy. Five more seconds. Last one, all the way down. Nice and slow, okay, down to the floor, plank rotations. Open, 
back down, open, back down. Okay, so remember, also feel your obliques as you lift. Navel's in, I need some beautiful length when you open. No, no, in this burnout, you don't get a break between the circuits. So after this rotation, we're coming to stand and going right into Arnold press. That's what a burnout is, 12 minutes straight. Yeah, so as you open, feel your shoulder blades pull together behind you. This is such beautiful posture work. Core work. Your entire body's working. Lift your hips up just a little bit higher. Rainbow, that's what she's saying. Rainbow, beautiful extension. One more. Nice, back down. Make your way up, Arnold press. Again, trying with 15s. There's nothing wrong with trying. And just like that, we're already on move five of 12. Yes, nice. Keep going. Control this. Just over 30 seconds. I feel my chest, my back. Nice. Keep your core engaged. I felt my abs sticking out. Pull them in. We're almost done. I'm slowing down, trying to stick with these heavy weights. Last one. Okay, great job. Lateral raises, switch into tens. Here we go. Out to the side, back down. Beautiful. Shoulders, by this point, are screaming, yes. So no, you can come here and do the same move just like that, okay? I'm gonna try to keep mine long, but we'll see. Or you drop weight. Remember, the longer your arms reach out, the more resistance this adds to your shoulders. So if it's feeling like too much, bring your elbows to 90 or go down in a way. You just wanna make sure that you're keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Because a lot of times when our weight's too heavy, we're losing our good form. So don't do that. Less than 15 seconds right here. And we're going into tricep extension overhead. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna try for 20s. Here we go. Bend and extend, yes. So I have two tens together, and then I'm bending my elbows right by my ears. Burn out your triceps. We're also gonna feel this in your shoulders here. Navel pulls in again, you're still trying to keep yourself upright, keep your posture. 30 seconds. Oh my, <laughs> it's amazing, yes. After this move, we only have five minutes left. And you have 10 more seconds right here. And then we're coming down to the floor for those crunches. Last one, all the way down, press them up. Okay, grab your weights. You, have, you know your options with your lower body. Reach up and go, crunch and low. Okay, so remember, you're crunching by pulling your navel into your spine. Folding yourself in half, working your deepest core. You can always bring your legs to 90 or put your feet on the floor, flat on the floor. Remember, you have options. Just over 30 seconds and we're hopping up for our final four moves. Bent over flies will be after that. So you know these moves. It's our final time we're here together. Less than 20. Remember, resistance training, strength training. Combine them, pair them together. So you do this, and then add some cardio either today or another day. Okay, that's it. Back up. Here we go. Might try 15s. Let's see. Open and close. 
Make sure your navel's pulled in. Just trying, just pushing. We'll see. You have 40 seconds left here. And then we have three more moves all done on the floor. Chest press, and then chest press in the center, close grip. 30 seconds. Pull your navel and protect your lower spine, especially in this position. Weight is in your heels, glutes sticking out behind you. 10 more seconds, you've got it. Pull your shoulder blades together. One more. Great job, down to the floor. Three more minutes, I'm trying the 25. Here we go. Press and lower, extend and back. Wow, these 25s are heavy, <laughs> but it's good. We've got it. We have two and a half minutes of work. That is it. And then you're done with this entire workout. It was tough and you were amazing. But this is why you came here today to do this. 20 seconds. I keep pausing at the top. That's okay. Okay, I'm switching. My form is going. Quick switch. There we go. Just feels better form-wise. And that's why we're here. You want to make sure that it feels right. Okay, last one. Bring your weights together. Here we go. Bend and extend. Yes. After this, we're coming to your form plank, remember? Less than two minutes. I'm pushing it right here with you. Chest and arms all feel it in this position. I feel my biceps, my triceps. Feet are flattened at the floor. My lower spine is flattened at the floor. Because I'm pulling my navel in. Maybe you close your eyes. Mind the muscle right here. This is when you want to give up, but you're not going to. 20 seconds. You've got this. Build that muscle. Do not give up right now. You have eight seconds. That's it. Okay, down. Forearm plank, final minute. Here you go. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Alternating, pulling your knees into your chest. But I really want you to think, your knees are only pulling in because your lower abs are doing the work. So they're only pulling in because your navel pulls into your spine. Shoulders away from your ears. Little pike of your hips, just over 30 seconds. You finished 40 minutes, upper body. Complete fire, you are amazing. <sighs> 20 seconds right here. You can always come up to your hands, but try, talk yourself till the end. Scoop your abs in tighter than you thought possible. You have 10 seconds here. Okay, take it one more each side. That's it. You did it. Oh my goodness. What amazing work you did today. My entire upper body is toast. I hope yours is too. I literally feel like jello in my upper body. <sighs> Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. <sighs> Just do a quick little stretch. You will need more, I promise. You will need more to stretch out these muscles, switch sides. <sighs> and you wanna make sure that you are doing that, strengthening, lengthening your muscles every time. <sighs> yes, and I have more stretching relaxation videos coming your way but i have a ton on my channel so just make sure that you're doing that for you yep, just behind your back opening up your chest kind of shake it out you are so amazing if you stuck with me this entire time that was 40 minutes of pure upper body strength some abs core throwing there because it's just always fun to throw that little 
bit of sprinkling of the core work. Make sure that you subscribe down below. These videos are coming out all the time and I'm so happy to be here with you on your health and fitness journey. Remember, resistance train, strength train, and cardio. I've got it all here on my channel. And then also make sure that you are resting, recovering, relaxing, stretching, all of that fun stuff. And I'm here for you. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you soon.